welcome to my kitchen. Uh, it is Sunday afternoon and we're still working away in the uh, in the living room, but I wanted to take a little bit of a break and put a pie in the oven. Uh, we ran to the store and I said, hey, I should make a pecan pie. And Molly went, yeah, you should make a pecan pie. What are you looking at me for? Rick is standing in the doorway looking at me like, I cannot believe you're making a video without me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you want to do it? I thought you were going to paint the trim, that's all. Do you want to do it? You can do it. Well, okay. He says Molly can do it. <laughs> so I'm going to make a pecan pie really fast. Because pecan pie is super easy. And as long as you have these things in the house, it's, it's really easy and can be thrown together in no time. So let's see what goes into this. Um, a nine inch deep dish, very important, deep dish pie shell. Uh, you can make your own pie crust, you can buy the roll out pie crust, or you can do what I did and buy a pie crust from the freezer. They come two to a package and they're like two bucks. I don't do pie crust that well, so uh, that is no secret. I've, uh, I've never claimed I suck at pie crust and that's just one of those sad facts of life and we all have to deal with them. And we all have to face our weaknesses and just move on. So anyway, in the pie crust I have two cups of pecan halves. Mom and Dad went to uh, Sam's Club yesterday and they said, can we bring you back anything? I said, yes, I need pecans and I need walnuts. So that's the best place to buy, nut buy nuts. And um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw everything else in here. I'm going to have three eggs, a cup of sugar, a cup of dark corn syrup. Now these two are interchangeable. If you use light corn syrup, use brown sugar. If you use white sugar, use dark corn syrup. You can use both light corn syrup and white sugar, or dark corn syrup and brown sugar. It doesn't matter. Just get the sugar into the bowl. Okay, so that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to get the sugar into the bowl after we crack the eggs. So three eggs go into the bowl. There's one egg, two eggs, and three eggs. There we go. And then we're going to put sugar, and I measured the pecans in this measuring cup, that's why it looks like there's brown bits in there. Cup of sugar. And then I'm going to rinse this out really quick, and I'm going to dry it with a paper towel. And I'm going to grab my cooking spray, and this is a helpful hint for everybody. If you're going to measure something sticky, like corn syrup, honey, golden syrup, um, if you're going to measure peanut butter, if you spray your measuring receptacle with cooking spray first, it is all going to slide right out, and none will be left in there. Watch. It's going to come all the way out. Molly, look at the cup, honey. Every last bit is going to slide right out. Oh, that's cool. And if you want to stand there and wait for that little bit to come out, then that little bit's not going to matter. But for the most part, you do not have to take a rubber spatula and scrape that out because it's all pretty much come out. And now it's just going to bug me if it doesn't come out, you know? Alright, so anyway, we'll move forward. Okay, now we have two teaspoons of good quality vanilla, and you know, the best quality vanilla is the kind you can make yourself. Two tablespoons of that. And Mike is over there watching previews for some movie on the video on the computer, so that's what you hear in the background. And Rick is in the living room painting, and he has a NASCAR race on. So there's a lot going on in our house today. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and get this beaten up in here real quick. And I want to let you all know to look very soon. My cookbook is almost done. And uh, this recipe is going to be included in Noreen's Kitchen Holiday Helper. Okay, now what we have here is four tablespoons 
of butter that has been melted in the microwave and slightly cooled because you don't want to put it in there if it's boiling hot otherwise you're going to scramble your eggs and nobody wants that all right and then the last ingredient that's going to go in here maybe a little odd and maybe no, none of you do this but um this is a scant which means barely a tablespoon of cornstarch this is just going to help everything set up it's kind of like an intermediary and um, everything's going to be happier it's going to gel up nicely you're not going to have um, it's like insurance policy the cornstarch is it's going to help everything bind together and become that nice custardy consistency that you want in a pecan pie now all I'm going to do is pour this in here. And then, I'm going to, ooh, big noise. Just give this a little kind of jiggle. And what I would like to tell you too is when you put your pecans in here, I went. Um, ahead and I turned most of my pecans over so that they were pretty side up so then when you pour that custard in there look at how beautiful it is now since I'm using a frozen pie crust in a pan I have a little trick to tell you and I'm going to pull my I'm just going to pull the rack out. I have preheated my cookie sheet, my baking sheet. And now I'm going to carefully transfer the pie from the countertop to the baking sheet. Let's see if I can do this without spilling. Oh, you know what, though? There is something else I need to do. I'm just going to put a piece of parchment here because that pie is going to bubble over. I can guarantee it. Ow. It's hot. And carefully push it back into the oven. Middle rack of the oven. You're going to bake that for 45 minutes and then you're going to check it. I'm going to come back when 45 minutes has come back has gone by I can't even talk anymore and I'm gonna show you how we check it for doneness so I'll be back in 45 minutes it's been 45 minutes and I probably need to tell you that about 20 minutes in I put a pie shield on the pie this will prevent your crust from over browning um, to be honest with you I think my pie is finished so let me show you how we can make totally certain. I got a steak knife here, and I'm gonna stick it down in the pie, and it's molten hot. Do you see? There's nothing on that knife. Very little. I'm not gonna worry about it. That pie, I'm gonna call finished. Fabulous. You must let this sit for, uh, don't even try and cut this for at least two hours, because you will be very disappointed, and it will run everywhere, and you will burn yourself. You will have to go to the, you know, to the freezer and get several ice cubes to remedy the, um, the skin peeling off the inside of your mouth because you will have burned it with the molten filling of this pecan pie. Right now, this is not user-friendly. This is just pretty to look at. But um, I will bring you back later when it's time to cut a slice, and I will fix you a plate of pecan pie. And I even might put some Spiffy Whip on it if you're nice. There we go. Who's ready for a piece of beautiful, delicious, nutty pecan pie? I know I am. The pie came out absolutely perfect. And I'll show you what it looks like in the pie, sh in the pie dish. We've cut into it already. It's cooled exactly like it should. It's absolutely gorgeous. The custard is as it should be. I'm going to move this out of the way now. 
Now, the only other thing that needs is some whipped cream. And since it's been a long day, we're going to give it to you right out of the can. There you have it. Pecan pie. Are you ready for a slice? It's been a long day. Painting, washing walls, making pie, making dinner. I'm ready for bed. I hope you try this. And I hope you see how easy it is to make a gorgeous pumpkin pie. So, Pecan. Did I say pumpkin? You did. <laughs> you see? That's how long the day has been. It's pecan pie. I'll make you pumpkin pie next time, I promise. Well, you so, said it now, they're going to want it. <laughs> I know. That's how it works. So, I hope you try this, and I hope you see how simple it is, and I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you don't get intimidated by pecan pie ever again. It has eight ingredients. How easy can that be?